came to town, fall of 82, spring of 83, the theater was open as a movie theater. I went to a few movies back when I first came to town, but it was, it had, it had gotten kind of run down. It was Ivan Bessie who, who was, um, you know, still ran it, was getting up in age and everything. And so in 1985, I think it was December of 85, he closed the theater, just closed it down. And so it was set empty and, and Marquis was getting to look really bad and everything. Then uh, 87 came along and it was announced that, that he was going to sell out, sell memorabilia from the theater and stuff like that. And I thought at the time, I says, well, we were still looking. We had done plays at the Masonic Temple uh, for, for the community theater. And I said, you know, I wonder if that would be something that we could use it for community theater and do movies. Didn't have a stage really to speak of, but I said that wasn't necessarily a big deal. And so I approached Ivan um, with that in mind um, to find out and if that was a possibility, he said, sure, he'd sell it. And, um, and this was maybe before the sale. This was like maybe a year or so before. And, um, and he said, well, he wanted like $70,000 for the building. Well, my banking background and everything told me, he says, uh, how are you gonna do that open on weekends, fix this place up and get it back in a condition where people wanna come to it again? And I said, nah pretty much dropped it. So I went and talked to him and said, you know, would you, would you be willing to come down in your price that you're asking a year or so ago um, for the theater? And here's what, what I've got in mind. You know, community theater is looking for a place maybe to have plays, but we'd, you know, entertain the idea of having movies possibly as well. And so I believe what I did is I made an offer to him um, for the theater. And I, I think it was the name of ten, twelve thousand dollars just just to see. And for a brief time, we had a gentleman's agreement that that was, that was going to be okay. He'd sell it and everything. And it wouldn't probably happen until after the sale of goods and everything. Well, I didn't hear anything from him for a couple of weeks, so I called him up and, and he said, well, I've had a better offer. So um, I just pretty much forgot about it. Well, the week of the sale, I think it was about the week of the sale, week of before the sale, we had a, a very community-minded individual, um, didn't like the limelight, didn't like the limelight. Was, he was a behind the scenes guy, and if you needed help and it made sense to him, he was there to help out. He came and talked to me, he says, I understand you made an offer in the theater. Yeah, I did. And at this time, I should preface this by saying, I was a little intimidated by this guy. I mean, I, I, he knew who I was, I knew who he was, I was, but he was, you know, I was, he was a, kind of a mover and shaker in the community, and uh, so I was a little intimidated by him. But anyway, he, he came and talked to me and he said, you know, this community needs that theater. Um, we need it just for something for young people to do, not just young people, but for older people, um, rather than sit home and watch TV or go out and get in trouble or whatever, we need this. And he said, I understand you had an offer and it was accepted and then he backed out and whatever and, and you kind of just walked away from it. I said, yeah, that's, that's about right. He says, well, tell you what, what if I buy it, I fix it up, and you run it, and then in a year or so you can buy it from me. Well, I thought, was I, was I really looking for something that was kind of like milking cows, you know, only on weekends, you know? <laughs> this is something I want to do every weekend of my, my career here. And I thought, well, you know, it doesn't mean I have to do it forever get somebody else in to do it. And uh, I said, well, 
took a little, that was when I was uh, dating my wife and she thought it was be an okay idea. And, um, and there was a lot of people that were, hey, that would be great, you know, open it back up. It's been closed since 85. Let's get it going again. So that's how I got into the movie business.